With more offices and classrooms moving online, companies and schools are adapting to meet growing needs. Enter Google Jamboard. In essence, it's a virtual whiteboard for people to use when collaborating online. If you're wondering how to use it for your next meeting or D&D session, this is the guide for you. To start, head over to jamboard.google.com or download the Jamboard app linked in the description below. Then sign into your Google account. To start with a new file or jam, just click or tap on the add icon in the bottom right. A blank frame will then be displayed with tools for you to use on the left for web users or at the bottom for mobile users respectively after tapping on the blue icon in the bottom right. Click or tap on a tool to select it. If there's an arrow icon adjacent to it, click or tap on it again to access more options. On the web editor, you can draw with the pen icon or add an image, sticky note, text, or shape using the respective tool icons and move them around with the mouse pointer icon selected. The bottom icon allows you to use a virtual laser pointer to circle in order to point things out to other participants. To set a background, click on the mouse pointer icon, then click on set background at the top. You can choose from any of the pre-selected backgrounds or add your own. To clear the frame, click on the mouse pointer icon, then click on clear frame at the top. If you're using the app, the layout is a little bit different. You'll have immediate access to your pen, mouse pointer, eraser tool, and laser pointer with an insert icon to the right if you want to add in a sticky note, content from Google Drive, or a picture from your camera or image library. To change the background on a frame, tap on the frame icon at the top, then on the triple dotted icon next to the frame in question. Click on background and choose from any of the pre-selected backgrounds. As of recording, you won't be able to add in your own image as a background on the mobile app. To clear the frame, just double tap the eraser icon and a window will pop up for you to confirm your action. In both cases, to start on a new topic without erasing the board, just tap or click on the arrow at the top to add a new frame. Per file, you can have up to 20 separate frames. Once you're ready, give your jam a name by clicking on the placeholder title and replacing it, then click share at the top right to add your colleagues or group mates to start working together. You'll be given the option to add specific people or groups by typing in one or more email addresses, tapping enter, then selecting a specific permission on the right. You can choose to allow the individual users to edit or just view the document. Once that's set, you can choose to notify the person via email and type a message. This feature is on by default, so if you want it disabled, uncheck the box below. Once you're ready, click send. If you're planning on sharing your file with a large group of people, you can also opt to allow anyone with a link to access, comment on, or edit your file. Just click on change to anyone with a link at the bottom of the window that appears. Choose a permission to allow anyone to view or edit your file, then copy the link before clicking done. From here, just paste the link where everyone you want to share your file can see it. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Google Jamboard and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.